Mugulars, what is going on today? Holy shit, today? Oh, there you go. Uh, one. This is probably going to be the best episode we ever had. We There's are no doubt about it. inside the Whiskey River in Peaks New York. That's right. Northern North Division. Best venue in town by far, in my opinion. Get the owner. Sit right here. That's right. Sit right here. We're fired up. <laughs> it's Cynthia. Yeah, she's a Virgo. We learned that today. So many things we've learned about it. We have questions. I know. About it too. I know. We, we should have done like an outtake before. Because now we just get bored. Oh, the outtakes. Like, like I want to oh, talk about Jacob DeGrom. Who wants to talk about Jacob DeGrom? I, I do, frankly. I would love to. I do. Well, let's talk about Jacob Let's get that out of the way. He pitches for the Yankees, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're the freaking worst. Listen, I just did it. Yes. Everybody be proud of me. Friggin'. No, uh, he's the worst. All right, so he, he pitches for the New York Mets. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Six First of all, we talked about last week with TW opening up because TW is not with us anymore. Um, oh, wait, no, he's just at home. He's just at home. He's just, I was like, what? That? Morbid. Morbid. <laughs> That went from rehab to oh, so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> rehab to ridiculous. Uh, yeah, but we're all gonna go there, boys. Right. But I'm back. It was a mutual breakup, according to Mark. You put it on the page, say like, Brian takes a break, mutual. And I'm like, Mark, why don't you not do that? But you know what? I don't get to run the YouTube account, so what the hell do I matter? Well, welcome back. Thank we you. you. I missed you guys. Nice. And get this. By the way, I was there like two hours later, so uh, you guys could wait. Whatever. Oh, no. Go on. Go on. I'm in. I'm That's in. why last week was the best episode. 45 <laughs> minutes of whining. It was a very long show. A lot of cussing. Lots of cussing. The cuss bucket was full. Okay. But we got Todd back there with the headphones. Yeah, what are you listening to? Doing audio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening to some other music. Yeah, right yeah. Now. <laughs> He's playing his playlist is amazing. Yeah. He's, he's bobbing his head. Yeah. It's like, what's going on? Yeah. 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 So we're, we're, yeah, we're a little gorilla today, but that's all right. We got lights. We got cameras. We got action. Look at this bar. We're at Whiskey River. Look at this freaking bar. Yeah, too bad we can't span and see the roof. Oh, we will. Like tin roof. And we will. Unbelievable. Do some shoots after. Yeah, Brian's gonna have to edit it all. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. Care. I don't know. It's very easy to do. Everybody should own Resolve. It's free. It yeah, is. It's the best editing package in the world. All right, back to Jason Degrom. Jason Degrom. Degrom. Yeah. What's all right. Name? Look. There's not a lot to get happy about if you're a New York sports fan. The you're Islanders are in the guy, the Nets, the <laughs> Islanders. What the fuck are you talking about? Dollar. I was getting there. If okay, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. The Nets and the Islanders. Let me start with that. How about that? How about we get our climax done first, then get bored? Nets and Islanders, obviously, or the Jake gives the ground place for both of them, which is amazing. I just learned that today. <laughs> Jason DeGrom. <laughs> I'm done. He plays for the Mets. And he has a point five six. Well, he's doing like shit that we've never seen before. It's amazing. But he's got that little twinge, whatever that word is. I think it's a made up word. And his elbow? Yeah. He left after six innings, 80 pitches, one hit given up, no runs, yep. uh, 10 strikeouts. And now he's like, yeah, it, it's going to be okay. I hope I'm so. a Mets fan. If I'm Jason DeGrom. You know what? God, buy Would you be worried? Ben Would you be worried about, about that? Ben Gay. Oh, absolutely. Ben Gay. Seriously worried about that. I put Ben Gay on everything. Bio freeze. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Bio freeze. This episode's <laughs> how old are you? Advertised <laughs> <laughs> by bio freeze. <laughs> or or he ejects the shot. Or, 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 or by Ben Gay. <laughs> or by Ben Gay. <laughs> by the way, back back in wrestling, the guys used to put Ben Gay inside of people's singlets. It was just the worst thing you could ever do to somebody. Oh, absolutely. You should try it out. Yeah. It was like you're benching wow. a nerd. I mean, right. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they put this in the app. Uh, looks like salad. Yeah. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, so we we right went now. way off track. Well, all right. Well, yeah, we should drop that. Right. Because. Actually, Cynthia, thanks for having us. Oh, thank yeah. you for having us. Yes. Yes. Thank you for coming. I mean, seriously, guys, this place. Where do we got a camera? That one? Yeah, that's the camera. That's the only one. This day, June 12th. Oh, Jack, 2021. Jack, little trivia. Yeah, just, you know, it's it's this day in sports history. Well, we got, got a little bit of trivia. Quickly. All right, June 12th, 1939. What Hall of Fame opened? Jake DeGrom. Major League Baseball. Correct. Where at? Makes sense. Where at? Cooperstown. Cooperstown. Cooperstown, New York. All right. Which, by the way, has one of the sweetest and nicest town squares of anywhere in New York. Oh, absolutely. He seems like a guy. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I do. I do. About All right. So I'm going to go to the casino right. after this. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. June, June 12, 1954. 
Who was the first pitcher to throw a no-hitter for the Milwaukee Braves? 1954. Braves, eh? Warren Spahn. He's, Warren he's related to Chip Wilson. What? Jeffrey Standitz? No. <laughs> it's, it's actually Jim Wilson. Oh, but speaking of no-hitters, I heard really right. 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 no, no, that was just a segue to June, June 12, 1970. Jack the, the, the Pittsburgh Pirates <laughs> threw a no-hitter. Who was throwing it? And what is historical about that no-hitter? 1970. Pittsburgh. Uh, we weren't alive. It was the first no hitter with no hits. No, it was Doc Ellis. Oh, oh wow. and Ellis. he was high on LSD when he did it. That's well, he was right now. He, he, was, he, was, he was tripping on LSD and threw a no hitter. Okay, that's you're crazy. not high on LSD. You're tripping. Tripping. That means he never took it. <laughs> no, Zach's tripping right, right now. It's a well, this is due to me. I mean, All right. I, I looked it up in a book just now. Like, yeah. All right, Trippings, here we go. We're going to bring it forward to June 12th, 1981. All right. Baseball right. players did what? Strike. You're a oh, fucking man. genius. You are right. a genius. Oh, All right. This is, There's so, only a handful. <laughs> so actually, we're going to just end this on another semi-sports question. It was June 12th, 1994. Strike. What, <laughs> what murder happened? OJ. OJ. OJ wasn't murdered. Nicole OJ wasn't Nicole murdered. Brown. Who was the two, who was the two people? Nicole Brown and this guy. Yeah. Cody. That would be <laughs> Ronald Goldman. Ronald Goldman. And Nicole Brown Sisson. Yep, Simpson. And they cut off the Knicks game, game six of... To watch the White Bronco. Nat, it was the NBA Finals against yes. the Rockets. And we're sitting there watching the game, and they're like, uh, well, there's a White Bronco. Yeah, I remember driving like, like yeah. eight oh, miles an hour down the street. OJ has a gun to his head. Hey, Mr. Phil, Mr. Phil. Yeah, Jack? Do you need any help, Mr. Phil? No, nah, I'm good. Like my beer? Really, you can have it. Really, you can. You can have it. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks, Jack. Here, kid, catch. Wow, Mr. Phil, thank you. A Lions jersey. Niggas <laughs> chatting, I'm the topic. I'm addicted to hustling, never stopping. Stock is on me, the other pocket watching, because they want to see me losing, never popping. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> we are back. Whoa, we're back already. We are yeah, back. Cuss bucket is getting filled. <laughs> It should have been way more filled than this. We're only yeah. like... Yeah, that, that was all off camera. It should be full of 120. Yeah. Yeah. I stopped recording though I did. So, <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> so we're with Cynthia. Again, thank you so much for having us. This is well, great. Thanks for coming. Uh, we're actually inside a real place right now. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's an awesome it's place. It's an awesome World famous right here. There's, there's, there's no birds in here. There's no wild animals. I don't know about that. It's great. Well, hold on. We have but we're not talking about Ronan. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But yes, it's great. He doesn't work here. No. Who is he? Who is he? I don't know. Yeah, I've Mystery never heard of Ronan before, right? No. Mystery. Wait, it's wait. Seamus. Famous Seamus. Yes. Seamus. But he's Seamus. Oh, yeah. So, Cynthia, tell us a little bit about the stuff when you opened and, and how you got started here. And... So, my husband is a retired fireman, and as all firemen, they always want a bar. Um, and so, we decided, okay, well, Every time I showed him a place, like, nah, too big, nah, not, doesn't like it. And so this place came apart, uh, uh, about, and I said, well, what do you think? Should we, like, open up a bar? And he's like, no, I'm done with that phase. So he didn't want it. Wow. Um, and then I said, okay, I'll bring a friend of mine. He knows how to run a bar business, blah, blah, blah. He lived in North Carolina. He came up, started consulting with us because we've never owned a restaurant or bar before. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we had some type of, like, someone who had knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and then my husband was like, I'm just going to be the contractor. You tell me what you need fixed, and I got you. So he builds everything here, mine yeah. here. We uh, had tons of debates and arguments about the tax system. Oh, I I, that's 
the best one. Okay, so yeah, that's the hottest yeah. one. Did you As a female, I was like, that looks too, like, too much of a woman's, you know. And I just said, no. <laughs> I, I don't want to put money in the cousin box. <laughs> well, you know what she's no, trying to I say. Not. I never noticed that it looked like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the proper term. You get that thought. Okay, that's that's not a curse. Oh, not really. Really. Right. Who thought of that, though? That he did. So he did tons of research. This actually came from Latvia, right? So this is one of those um, pieces that he said, I don't give a shit how, damn, how long it takes <laughs> to get here. Thank you. How long it takes to get here, we're going to order this. And I said, it's too massive. This is a small bar. It's going to overpower everything. And of course, I was wrong. <laughs> That's that thing is awesome. That's it exactly is. what he wanted. So, yeah. did it come from a dismantled like nuclear arsenal in Latvia? Uh, let's not question that. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> all, all our beer is glowing. The all guy just showed up. <laughs> this for you. And this, yeah. they got, this is yours. Yeah. Well, they deliver it in a suit. They you know, like just carry it. They just carry it. In. So, so what day did you actually open? We opened March twelfth. Uh, we had the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th was a Sunday. We decided we were going to regroup, figure out what worked, what didn't work. And oh, then you're talking about COVID. COVID. Yeah, yeah, right COVID. Yeah, yeah, COVID. Yeah, it was yeah. right before. So well, I had, March 12th, 2012. We tried to come in here, and that's when I actually met you, but you guys had like a family soft opening. It was yes. people. Yeah. Uh, and we're like, all right, we'll come back next week. Yeah. <laughs> right, and so. Because yeah. everything got shut down. And everything got shut down. So uh, the governor closed everything down on the 16th. Our yeah. plan? was banging out for uh, St. Patrick's Day, the NDAs, the, like I so said, we had everything lined up for yeah. a good opening. The TVs and everything. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Some of the best TVs going, by the way, and they're always playing good sports. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, we tried. And crack TV was what I yeah. called. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they can't stop watching it. No, so. that one's always on. Yeah, yes. that is the same one. It's hilarious. It's, 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 it's like people just being dummies. Right. Yeah, wow. I don't have to tell you. It's what you. Well, yeah. is actually so like what you on. would be on, watching on, on your uh, phone when all the things yeah, come so up. It's, it's like TikTok. Yeah. I feel. Constant. No, it's not. Yeah. So, it's you don't even know what TikTok is, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You don't. So anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Just keep going. So, you got okay. the place, so we had to figure out what we were going to do, um, and we decided that we have like tons of money in liquor. We have uh, a newly tapped. System. So all those eggs, if we didn't use it, would go bad, and we didn't want that to happen. Right. And then we had food that we had to right. uh, make sure that it didn't spoil. So we just said, okay, we're switching gears. Right. So we pivoted into a takeout only. That was that was it. That was, a, that was the smartest move you definitely made. Thank you. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing is, as I was telling Phil earlier, is I'm the type of person that when I go into a restaurant, there's one thing I like and I order that all the time. Would you say your Chinese? Number meal? three, chicken and broccoli and garlic sauce. <laughs> yeah, right. say the best. Yeah. I don't need, you. Don't need to even go further. Right. I've never done it. I'll and it's like Mark. Garlic. Mark is always the empanada now. <laughs> like, I know yeah, when he Mark. walks in the door, he's getting the empanada. He's going to the car. Oh, yeah. Mark, Mark, Mark is here. definitely the empanada queen. Yeah. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Marquis. Sorry, Marquis. You are from England. Sorry. They supposed to do a video, by the way. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Talk about that menu. Like this menu, guys, it's off the charts. Good. They have the staples that they do yeah. all the time with their burgers. Just always yeah. burgers. Yeah. And always the empanadas. The burger, like I said right. earlier, it's a two-hander. You oh, eat yeah. it like this. How do you pick up the fries? <laughs> you, don't, you don't put that thing down. You no. do not let it touch the plate again. You do no, because you're not. You're no, it's fantastic. But yeah, the other guys that's always rolling in here. I love it. Right. It's the best one. The mac and cheese that you guys have rolling in there too. The yeah. wings that you have. Like yeah. Brian said, the empanadas always rotate. Yes. Yeah, right? so, so the empanada filling we change all the time. So right now we have a jalapeno uh, poppers empanada. So yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice. yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then um, we decided that because people get stuck on that one meal, that for COVID we were going to change, we we're going to keep some staples and then change the menu out every week. So that's how you know there's fresh food. We don't do anything frozen, right? So well, other than frozen, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm so good. No, Seamus, 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 Seamus. Seamus. Yeah. Um, and shameless. Yeah, exactly. Frank for shameless. <laughs> <laughs> about the boy that was missing his face, right? No. Come on, he's got his tip jar going up. Oh, that's right, right now. 
Actually, he's not that good. We'll fucking get going. <laughs> Jack, I've already got it. Go. Keep, keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> All I have left is a five, so I'm going to lay out another one. Right there. <laughs> um, so we just rotate the menu. Yeah. And we just keep it fresh and keep it moving. Yeah. And, and when did we all reopen? Whatever, completely fully? Uh, in July. So we waited. I mean, they, I think they started at the end of June, where they were allowing like 25 percent, 50 percent. We waited until July, and then we did more outdoor. And so um, I'm actually on the bid. I'm the vice president of the bid at Peace Hill. Oh, um, and that? so we worked with the city to uh, close down the street, not just the yeah. Saturday and Sunday. But we now do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. I just want to say the work that you and Brian have been doing with the bid has been like a really big boost and it really helped the city from COVID. So like when you go by Gleason's and they have like the blocked out street yeah, around, right. yeah. and then down down by the waterfront, that was all the bids doing. They oh, worked wow. their butts off. Because wow. New York State has these laws against and this is a county road, like this is not easy to get shut down. No. And they made it they made it happen. But, but actually, right? I, I, I would also give um, some credit to Andy Stewart, who and there's is no doubt about it. our city manager. I think without him in place, yep. Andy, um, Andy he, shout out he, next. Yeah, he shout actually was the person yeah. who elevated and said, right. how do we reopen Peekskill? How yeah. do we help the businesses? What do we need to do to be compliant and get people back, right. back to normal? So yeah. he actually started a committee, which was like, you know, a, a revitalization group. And, and I was a representative uh, for the restaurants to turn around and say, what do we need to do? And awesome. hence that we are peak skill posters that are still all over the place. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what that was all about. No, it was, that's, it's been great. And he did great work in his previous work out in Rockland County. And yeah. I'm glad that Andy's part of our yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, like, and he's healthy again. Thursday, yes. Friday, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. man. And, and we actually had the first live music out here. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, Saturday. it was last Saturday, I believe, with the blue chips. Yeah, the blue right. chips are out. The yep. blue chips are awesome. Blue yes. chips are awesome. Yeah, you guys have to see them. <laughs> got to see them. That, was all, see that was all Ronan making sure Paulie got his butt over here. He's like making a sale. Yeah, like, well, yeah, like, yeah no, if you yeah. <laughs> get a chance, listen to the blue chips. Yeah, you definitely need to down here. North Division Street in Peekskill, oh my god, it's like the epicenter of Peekskill. The road gets cut off, like you, you were saying. Yeah. Pretty much. So, so there's music. More than half the week. Right, so there's music Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Yeah, so okay. all of June is booked, half of July is booked, and part of um, August is already booked. We have this closed down till the end of the year, so um, till oh, wow. December. December, When right. weather committee will be able to do stuff. Jack, Where can they get a schedule wow. of, of bands that are playing on um, the So this is on me. Um, I have not posted it anywhere. I actually. Uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, Jack, they, they weren't allowed to. When Jack do his Tom Jones covers anymore? You're doing right. your Tom Jones well, covers. I am. <laughs> We'll put you, there'll be we'll no one there. There'll be no one there. You need to see it. Well, they'll open up the chat room. I'm just going to put it in my car. Oh, no. That's exactly the best idea I've ever heard. Yeah. Right, no, that's Get Jack out there playing. <laughs> open up the traffic. Jack is Let's take a look at the door. Frankly, I say we'll set up in the middle of the road. we got to film it. So I will say. What we got? I'll buy a drone. It's not on you, Joe Wilson. There you go. You can sing it like your drone. Are you available in two weeks? No, no, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he just got a second COVID shot. I did. I just got my second, yeah, second okay. COVID shot yesterday. Yeah. So if yeah, anybody wants to punch Jack in the arm, this Do is it. the baby. Now we're baby. Jack's flex time. Yeah, he's flexing. Uh, I saw that flex. <laughs> Strong from the second one. Nice. So that's great, though. That is a, that's a it's great really story about this place, which is awesome. Thank Always you. Always loved it. Yeah, it's a great work. It's exposed. Great in here. It's really lovely. You guys Thank have you to guys see it. Really. You know, it doesn't do it much justice, but, I mean, I'm thinking about the burger, I might get one. Well, right. also, I made someone wants to. Can we talk about how good the liquor selection is? Like, oh, that's a beautiful shelf. It's, well, it's, it's, called, it's called Whiskey River. Whiskey River for, I know, but for a reason. reason. Yeah, I get it. It's, but it's, like, really good. It's better it's, than... Better than it should be. <laughs> the even bottles that have got from the from the craft from the from the twin towers, right? That's what those are at the top. Yeah, so that actually is from that movie Twelve Strong. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. that's Horse Soldier. Um, it. it was about like so that movie was about the four guys who went into battle and their horses and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. That um, liquor or that, that brand is from those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so that's awesome. all strong. Um, there's, uh, we have whiskeys from all over the world. In fact, if you're actually here, when Nate's here, Nate is one of our whiskey connoisseurs. Right. Um, and uh, he actually sat here. It's so amazing because he's so passionate about it. Right. He um, took a couple girls around the world in whiskey. So they started in the U.S. and then they went to Scotland and then they went to Ireland and then they went to Japan. And oh, so you can taste wow. them around. So if you ever need or want to learn about whiskey, see me. <laughs> I want to try Mug's Mug Goat Worldwide. I want to try Nigerian whiskey first. And, and what's right. the whole blessing? Gur. I'll tell you what, guys. Japan's whiskey thing yes. is like really real. Yes. And I, you know, and I was I was a little stubborn about it. You know, I'm kind of a classic bourbon scotch sort of guy. The stuff coming out of Japan is as world class as anything. And remember, they started a lot of it 20 years ago because it had a sip barrel. So, so it's not it's not yeah. sake that they make. No, no, not at all. No. It's, it's, it's really good. Game. All right, so here's my one thing about whiskey. Mm. Joe, put you, we all have preconceived notions about what we think whiskeys are going to be like. So like Jameson's to me is like it burns going down. And then I had I had proper twelve over here come in, right? So yeah. my cousin Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. So I was like, oh that's another cheap one, right? Because right. it's a low price point. Um, and I thought, oh, it's gonna burn going down. And then I drank it and it is so smooth. It needs to be on like a billion dollars. So Which is when you're trying whiskey, you're so forget to about the name, forget about the brand, get a little bit of the history. Taste it, and then that's when you know whether it's a good it's one or not. Because again, I just turn around and I, I like really didn't want to try it. Yeah, right. Do you, think, do you think uh, Chris Lynch tried that? What do you think? Did Chris Lynch try it? Probably not. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, hi. <laughs> um, no, I'm not sure he did. I can tell oh, you that it's only 12, it. it's very smooth. Yeah. The green spot is another one that's really smooth. But well, well, Buffalo Trace is a little here's bit the thing. rough. We're, yeah. we're ha hanging out with these guys. We're not the guys who sit there with a cigar and sip the whiskey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you don't want to go above this shop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that. You can't afford I mean, to go above this shop. <laughs> I just no, want to go above this shop. I was looking at that, that shop. I was like, and, mm -hmm. and obviously, you don't carry fireball. Yeah. No, we don't care no, about no. Jack, you're Sorority girls <laughs> want it. <laughs> sorority girls So Jack has a bottle of fireball. I was going to do a mixed drink called cinnamon roll. It's fireball and cream soda mixed together, and it tastes like a cinnamon roll. And we were going to have it for breakfast, but I, I chose not to. I already had breakfast. Here's <laughs> <laughs> And I think it was. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right? I mean. All right, can I get another one, please? Yes, sir. Fireball. So that's great, though. I can't. Yeah, fireball. This is great. Great stuff. And there's so many different whiskeys. Yeah, yeah. And that's just, just one piece, which you guys may not even be able to see beyond that. Right. It's a lot of good stuff here. So, and I'll say another thing. If you're coming here, the staff is unbelievable. Oh, it's like you're getting a show. Right. Like it's, it's 12 o'clock well, right now. They have their first customer. You're getting at a show. Goldberg. That's for sure. Right. Goldberg. Oh, Superman. Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Seriously. We, like Broden and John, you know. Those guys are great. I mean, he's hiding out of the camera. Cover. Oh, Seamus. Oh, oh, <laughs> but, but you know what? Come in with a thick skin, because oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 you might take some. If you're well, sensitive, anyways, don't come. Welcome to Big Skill. Thank it's you. been yes. one, year, one year and three months. Yes, thank you for having us. We Actually, it's one year and three months after the day. Yes, the 12th, right? The 12th. So, so I just want to say how honored we are um, and how pleased we are with the feedback. And, and we appreciate everybody, and our staff appreciates you guys. Um, because without you coming in all the time, we wouldn't be here, right? And so, um, we, we, uh, we being my husband and I, who own this place, we do it for you guys. We do it for them. You know, for us, you know, this is a, a, a nice place that we wanted to build, to build character for, you know, um, our children and stuff. And we're just very grateful to um, the patrons that come in. And, and I'm just very heartfelt. Thank yeah. you. Because oh, yeah. you Blew me away. Yeah, yeah. Blew me away. We're so, glad you're here. Yeah. You are glad. Yes. <laughs> well, and thank you for persisting through COVID because, you know, what happened to you guys? It, 
And the fact he survived is just amazing. Yeah, really and impressive. I was out here ordering food and had it brought to my car. Yeah. And it was great. I, I it was like being at a Sonic, but they delivered yeah. food at and no roller skates. Roller skates. Roller skates. Roller skates. Should have thought that. Roller skates. Yeah, roller skates. Got it. Roller skates. Next summer, like Next that. summer brother. I, I don't want to see that dude on roller skates. I don't know what that would be like. You know what? There's always a silver lining because our staff, as good as they are, I thought that um, we only had them temporarily. Um, and it was peak skill that had them coming back and stay. It's a great place. It's awesome. Friendly That's, town. It is a friendly town. It is a friendly town. Welcome yeah. to Peekskill and welcome to the Peekskill Mugs. Yeah, all right, guys. And it's going to be live on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be live tomorrow. Which is great. <laughs> <laughs> live tomorrow. Think about, Come that on, that think about that. Think about that. <laughs> think about that. <laughs> think about that. <laughs> live tomorrow. This is where we are just stupid. <laughs> live tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Oh, yes, you live yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Really stupid. <laughs> 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 I do want to say just a, a quick shout out of yeah, course, to um, Bobby and Jeff, who we met down in Wildwood Crest, New Jersey last week. They are our newest followers. Nice. They're great. from Baltimore, Maryland, and a great couple. Very cool. Nice. Shout out to you guys. Come on up, guys. Yeah. That that you guys got to watch this one when they come up here. Oh, yeah. yes, Staten Island right. boys, you guys, get up here. You guys are right there. We miss and you guys. And from Guam, we'll we be remiss we'll, not to. Yeah. So yes. You can fly in. I'll pick you up in LaGuardia. <laughs> yeah. Fly yeah. in the short, though. We're not picking you up in LaGuardia. Yeah. 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 No, we'll send you an Uber. Yeah. Be awesome. No, we won't. Too expensive. No, we won't. Bye. All right, guys. All right. Take care. See you later. Woo. Have a good week. Coming at you live tomorrow. I love oh. it.